is uh, Ray Goldstein from the Men's Flag Football League of South Jersey, which is uh, a really cool flag football league down in their upper township. They're heading into their 23rd season, so they've definitely shown some staying power here. Uh, good morning, Ray. Uh, good morning, Dave. Step up to the mic there. Don't be shy. <laughs> Uh, so tell us what's going on with your league. Uh, obviously, you've been around for more than two decades. Um, I know we talk on and off about the league here and there. Uh, what's different about this year? Um, I think the competition stepped up. Um, you know, people know we're legit. People want to come out and play. Um, you know, there's some, been some other leagues that have been in the area, and they just haven't, you know, brought the, the game. They haven't brought the competition that we have. And, uh, you know, everyone's excited. Um, I will tell you, from May on, People are like emailing me, <laughs> calling me, and saying, "When are you going to start?" Because they know we are the best league in South Jersey. They want to play in our league. And how many teams you got going this year? We have eight, which is a good number. Uh -huh. You know, we play everybody twice. Um, you know, good competition. There's uh, just there's a lot of good guys out there, and they want to play ball. And you guys are starting up tomorrow, correct? Yeah, eight o'clock down there at uh, Upper Township. What is it? The elementary school? Yes. Yeah. Right behind me. What's that? Eight o'clock. 8 o'clock, all right. They're out there pretty much from like uh, 8 to about 1 every Sunday? Yes. Cool, so you get a, get a little workout in before the NFL games. Yeah. Um, if, if there are guys that are that are looking to play, haven't heard about the league, uh, how can they contact you guys and, and get signed up, or is it too late? Um, right now, I think we're locked in for the year. Um, you know, looking toward next year, you know, we have our website, you know, Men's Flag Football League of South Jersey webs com, and we're on Facebook, the Men's Flag Football League of South Jersey. Um, there's email addresses that are attached to both those sites, cool. and you can contact us. I monitor it all the time. So uh, we welcome more guys, and you know, we have a free agent pool. So um, you don't have to be a associated with the team. Now, are you still playing, or did you hang them up yet? <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like a cross between George Blanda and Roger Clemens. <laughs> <laughs> um, every year I say it's my last year, and, uh, you know, it's so much fun. Uh, my team is great. They're like, a, like family and they keep encouraging me to come back. So I say, listen, you know, if you want me back, I'm going to continue to play. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're sort of like a player coach at this point? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe take a few snaps on defense or whatever? <laughs> yeah, yeah hope, it's fun. Hope, hope the young guys don't burn you deep? <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I enjoy the other teams. You know, I've gotten to know a lot of the guys, and, uh, you know, that's really what keeps me coming, you know, and uh, I just it's a lot of fun. Now, when a lot of people think of flag football, they think of – uh, you know, guys just going out there, hacking around a little bit, you know, maybe guys that are past their prime. But when you see this league, I mean, these guys take it serious. They're they're trying to stay in shape all off season to be a very good player in this league. I know a lot of these guys want to be the player of the year and all that stuff, and uh, some really quality athletes. Uh, what should people know about this league? Maybe they have the wrong impression that it's just kind of a, a Sunday league where guys are just ah, tossing the ball around. Yeah, that, that brings up a good point. So way back when, when we first started, it was, you know, guys would go out and toss a ball around and go hit the bars afterwards. But, you know, I think uh, people have to realize, I mean, we've got some bona fide players. You know, Chris Harris, you know, played for the Ravens. You know, Dave Clement, John Stone, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Norm White, Marvin Burroughs. I mean, we've got some bona fide players. I mean, it's a legit league, you know. Yeah, these guys are guys that not, not only some of them play professionally, but a lot of these guys um, – you know, are not too far removed from really good college careers. Like you said, Norm White, Villanova, uh, Burroughs, these guys were, were high-level uh, college players. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, I know uh, Kevin Fernsler, you know, he, you know, works at Athletes Arbor, and, they, uh, you know, he trains all year for this. This is what he lives for, you know, <laughs> and it's the, it's the God's honest truth. Yeah. Um, you know, we've encouraged that, you know, by now enticing guys, but, you know, by keeping stats, and there's MVPs, and, you know, we, we've done Player of the Week, and, you know, from that standpoint, not only is a team going to get recognized, but each individual player is going to get recognized. So that makes it even more competitive. And you get a little, you get some guys uh, complaining about the stats every now and then. Yeah, once <laughs> in a while, you know. Uh, hey, you know. I, I had seventeen <laughs> tackles, not fifteen. Yeah, but um, you know, it's it's the honor system, and you know, we we try to make it as fair as possible, and uh, you know, it, it's just it's really a lot of fun. So, like, even if your team isn't very good, you know, you can still go after the individual stats and make it worth your while. Who who are some of the younger guys in the league that that maybe some people around here might know from their high school careers? Um, well, this year my team picked up uh, Justin Rinesmith. He's also from Villanova. Mm -hmm. He's younger. He's from Cape May County. Um, Vic Nelson is from EHT. He's been our overall MVP, you know, for two years. Um, uh, Jeremiah Simmons, 
uh, just just on and on. I can I can go down the line. And, and a lot of guys who may have made their name in other sports, uh, like for instance, a guy like Mike Isgro, who's the assistant uh, football coach and the head baseball coach at uh, Cedar Creek. Uh, he's he's known for his baseball uh, a lot of times around here, but uh, really a, a very accomplished football player in his day at uh, I believe it was Delval College. And um, man, this guy he he can still throw it. I mean, he can sling it out there. Oh God, yeah, he might probably one of the best quarterbacks in the league, right? He definitely. I mean, he can throw the ball sixty yards, and he's a smart quarterback. And you know, he's he's just an overall great athlete. And as he said, you know, he, he was a great baseball player, but he's a phenomenal football player and a good guy to have on the team. We're talking with uh, Ray Goldstein who is one of the guys who runs the Men's Flag Football League of South Jersey down there in Upper Township. They're getting started tomorrow, 8 a.m., with their 23rd season. Uh, they play every Sunday pretty much up through December, right? Yes. And um, talk a little bit about where the league is at now as opposed to maybe 5, 10 years ago. What are the what are the most significant differences? Um, you know, I think one of the things we highlight is, is safety, right? I mean, we're out there. We're, it's fun. It's competitive. But we have to watch out for guys getting hurt because at the end of the day, we all have to go to work tomorrow, right? <laughs> right yeah. So we, you know, we've made some rule changes. You know, we don't do punts. Uh, we, there's no more kickoffs. The sidelines are not live. Um, there's no fumbles. And again, all because of somebody's gotten hurt. So we had to adjust the rules that way. Right. Um, you know, we, we want guys to go out there and uh, and not get hurt. You know, and we want them to come back and keep it competitive. Now it's uh, seven on seven, correct? That's correct. Um, how much do these guys put into? Uh, their playbooks, you know, I'm sure they must be sitting around all the time. Saying, hey, here's a new play. Let, let's let's incorporate this. Did you guys practice at all, or is it just kind of you know wait till you get together this, this time of year? Yeah. Um, so a lot of teams they do practice and they actually do organize their own scrimmages against other teams. Um, I know a lot of teams are out on the on websites. You know, they have apps. You know, for flag football plays. You know, that's how <laughs> serious they take it. Wow. So, really? Yeah. And. Uh, you know, they're gearing up, and you know, everyone wants the ring, right? The title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what, what, what's the coolest thing for you? I know you've been involved with this pretty much from the get-go. Um, what's the coolest thing for you, and, and how long will you keep uh, being a part of this league? Um, the, I think the coolest thing is I just see, you know, where the league has come. You know, it's very organized. You know, uh, we, you know the guys are looking forward to it. It's competitive. Um. You know, it's just uh, yeah. How long do I keep it going? I don't know. Uh, it's it's hard. It's a full time job, and I do have a full time job. But as long as everyone embraces it, and uh, you know, I, I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. I really do. Mm-hmm. Seeing you know everyone uh, you know wants to come play in our league, and they appreciate everything we do. So um, it's year by year. Now I know the uh, the Jersey Shore Flag or Powder Puff League, which is the sort of a female version of your league that plays in Summers Point. I know you know a lot of those girls. They've kind of gotten together this tournament team that travels around, like up to Asbury and stuff like that, for uh, for summer tournaments and stuff like that. Have you guys branched down into that at all? Um, not tournaments, but I think what we're looking at for the future is uh, there's other leagues, like in the western part of South Jersey, that you know, and um, you know, my grand plan is you know our Super Bowl champion, quote unquote, would play the champion of that league. And they wouldn't be representative of the sponsor, but they'd be a representative of the Men's Flag Football League of South Jersey. Gotcha. So the two teams could come together and maybe have an overall champion. That's where I'd really like to go. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the future, you know, um, there's tournaments that are in Las Vegas that I would like to get our team involved, or excuse me, our league involved. But that would be a little bit farther down the line. Right, right. What's What's the most difficult thing for you in terms of organizing this and – you know, examining the rules year by year. Uh, how much time goes into what you do for this league and, and guys like Kevin Grubb and, and all the rest of the guys that are kind of on the, the board of directors, so to speak? Uh, we put a lot of time into it, a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Um, you know, we examine the rules, you know, things come up. You know, we had some situations last year, like, you know, as I called it, the perfect storm. We never, ever would have thought. So we had to make some adjustments on what if, what if, what if. Mm-hmm. You know, you're always looking at that. Um, but, uh, you know, again, behind the scenes, you know, we have to be in insurance. We're looking at that every year. You know, right. that's something that, you know, you know, guys get hurt. You know, how can we protect them? You know, again, it's all about the safety. Um, you know, we just, we're just always looking for ideas. And, you know, we don't try to reinvent the wheel. We will look at other leagues and see what they're doing right and just kind of follow suit. Um, how much do you study from a year to year how successful the prior year was and what changes need to be made at what point do you decide on that is is it directly after the season or is this kind of a 
a thing where things pop up throughout the offseason and you kind of take a look at them as they come up? Yeah, we, we look at them as they pop up. And then we look at them and, you know, Kevin and I will talk about it and say, what do you think about this? You know, is that a good idea? Do you think we should change this? You know, um, you know, I know one of the big things we wanted to do this year, aside from a rule change, was to, um, you know, kind of reinvent ourselves. You know, we've got a new logo. We want to refresh, you know. Um, you know, we just uh, we want to keep it interesting for everybody. Mm-hmm. Talking with Ray Goldstein, who is one of the guys who runs the Men's Flag Football League of South Jersey. Uh, Ray, before we let you go, uh, tell people uh, how they can follow you guys. I know you guys do a lot on Facebook and that kind of thing, and, and you do the weekly updates and player of the week and all that stuff. How can people kind of track what you guys are doing? Yeah, we're uh, again, we have our website, Men's Flag Football League of South Jersey.webs.com. Um, we're covered by uh, Glory Days Magazine. We're also covered yeah. by. <laughs> <laughs> of course, man. <laughs> the Sentinel. Um, we have uh, the Extramural Sport. They cover us in uh, all of the municipalities around here and the current and the gazette so nice. um you know we're trying to get more and more exposure more marketing you now so uh you know please you know follow us we have a great league and it is really cool like 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 you said you do see a lot of names that that people knew from high school and college football and, and some really great athletes yep yeah and like i said you know with there's, there's i can go down the line you know steve <laughs> cook chris harris mike isgro from my team justin you know uh anthony rafa you uh-huh. know um you know just, we just have a lot of really good players on every team. So how excited are you for the 23rd season coming up tomorrow? Are you going to get any sleep tonight? <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited, actually. <laughs> I'm very nervous, and I'm probably, probably get up at 5 o'clock. And, you know, <laughs> so nice. uh, it's, I'm looking forward to it. All right, we'll let you get, get out of here and enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, thanks for stopping by in studio. I appreciate it, Ray. Thank you guys for having us. Right, bye-bye. No problem. That was uh, Ray Goldstein one of the members of the Men's Flag Football League of South Jersey. They're getting started tomorrow, 8 a.m. down at Upper Township Elementary School. So if you got a, a few few minutes down there, hop, hop down and check them out. They'll be out there from about 8 a.m. to about 1 p.m.